Mind Radio. Rooted to the ground. Not to the ear. Ear ground. Are you aware of the discrepancy or the the differences in terms of uh, the amount artists from Jamaica charge when they come to perform in Africa as compared to when they perform in Europe? For example, I was having a conversation, uh, about, I will not mention an artist, uh, but one artist last week, and they charged like 7,000 US dollars to come and perform in Europe. Uh, and the same artists when they performed in Zimbabwe two years back, they were paid sixty thousand US dollars, right? So the amounts in Zimbabwe <laughs> for artists coming from Jamaica, the ones that I know have been ranging. Yeah. The minimum has been twenty thousand US dollars, and ranging up to hundred thousand US dollars. And when they come to Europe, I know the figures are very very low, like super super low. <laughs> What's your response um, to that? You know, we laugh. Uh, no, it's serious. Cause we laugh. Cause we used to work with a European um, booking agency. We now go call them name. Mm-hmm. And you know, um, some of them contract they were used to do for some very very prominent um, artists. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> yo, let me tell you, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You see the European thing? Yeah, man. I remember I even we came across the article and I, and I shared it with you. There was a, yeah, the same conversation mm-hmm. yeah, I remember being that. had. Mm-hmm. Um, in Jamaica, they don't talk about that. that. That's not that people don't talk about that. That conversation is not had. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, I don't think people know. It's only people who are really doing the work behind the scenes mm-hmm. know that there's a huge discrepancy between what the artists, especially the reggae one, they will love Tabo, Mama mm-hmm. Africa. And yeah, they, they love Africa so much. Yeah, love Africa, Mama yeah Africa. man. <laughs> you know what I say? You know, them, if, them, if the discrepancy between what they might charge to go to Africa and what they might charge to go to Europe come out, people laugh and not support them thing in Jamaica, you know? Mm-hmm. Because it, it, it's not something that people know. Um... The, the artists that come from Jamaica who are based in Jamaica, mm-hmm. I can't say that because there are Jamaican artists who are also based in the United yeah, States yeah, and true. Canada as well. Mm-hmm. You know? The one that will come from Jamaica mm-hmm. and go tour in other places, in a Europe first and foremost, mm-hmm. them don't get paid as in comparison as to what is asked or requested from the African promoters. That's what I will say. Mm-hmm. And the, 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 the fees, them, it's so exorbitant and the, the discrepancy is so, so wide. Um, mm-hmm. Me and another um, I, um, you know, presenter who work here at our station, yeah, you know, we're always discussing you know, what are the, the reasons <laughs> that this could be the case. Yeah, man. And we know it's not really have to do with no musical. You know, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we have a history Mm-hmm. We're kind of colonial, sir. We say, so you know, you behave towards certain yeah. people differently than your own bridging as history. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like, I, I think I think that has a big, big part to play that. And also just the belief that, you know, the African them have whole heap of money <laughs> that are available where you can ask for. Yeah, <laughs> I love. Yeah, it's a real thing, you know, like for the real. African them have only for money where you can ask for. Yeah, you can ask the African them directly. It's like your bread gene, you know. When me look for plat, you know, yeah, when man. I look for plat, a plat come from Zimbabwe. Plat look like my bread gene a Spanish town. Who him know send me a big star, so I can say yo, just give me money. You know, <laughs> when I look for some other people, them kind of get a little, you know, more, you know, mm-hmm. and you know, you you cause you know say it's not the same and. You know, there it, 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 I can't really explain it outside of that. Um, mm-hmm. I think that the artist would have to come out directly mm-hmm. and honestly and, and speak to why that is an actual like issue and thing. But people know, mm-hmm. people know, especially in Jamaica, yeah, like, them know, them know, say, oh, you know, so it goes. Because African, them all leave that, you know, so it goes. I don't know why. It's, it's, yeah, it's quite interesting because, like, even the kind of hospitality that they get when they come, for example, in Zimbabwe. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll be honest with you. When an artist from Jamaica comes to Zimbabwe, there is uh, an, a convoy 
you know, of top class vehicles waiting at the airport. There is a uh, hundred or 50 people that are waiting to escort them from, 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 from the airport. They get five star, you know, hospitality yeah. in terms of the hotels. Uh, they get, you know, the best kind of treatment. They've got like um, a tech rider that is like up there, right? And they get featured on almost all the radio stations, you know, except when one has exclusive rights for that concert. Uh, all the media, the journalists, they are excited, they are writing the stories, they are everywhere, you know, talking about this, right? Um, and and, and uh, what's interesting is that one, when they go back, they don't talk about this, they don't even talk about their experience like in public, you know, they don't make news about it the same way that they make news. Uh, they get paid five times they will say, the amount they get paid in Europe. I've seen some artists here in Europe when they come, they just picked up by one car from the airport to one hotel, not even five star. <laughs> they they are taken from there. Yeah. They go to perform. They perform. They go back and then they fly back to Jamaica. You know, which is quite interesting. Why this is different. So well, you know, yeah. what I would say, I would say you no, know, I would say, you know, just think about it from a real common sense um, level. Mm -hmm. Why? Why I think the reason is primarily something that is outside of the music that is more of a social history. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. just think about it. If you go to a place that pays you more, why wouldn't you want to go there yeah, more? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so why them no longer Africa more if Africa pay them more? Mm -hmm. Them are going to Europe. But like artists have summer tours mm -hmm. that last three months in Europe. But Africa have like, like, you can go do a tour in Africa, yeah, get paid more money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, there must be a reason. I think the reason has to do with, you know, just something that is not is not really honest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not is music. They must deal with the music from a specific angle, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and 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 catering to a specific market mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is not necessary, especially reggae, because we all know that reggae wasn't necessarily a music that was born out of capitalism, marketability. Mm -hmm. It's a music where for uplift and develop people and you can try to find a way to mm -hmm. monetize and sell it over the years. Mm -hmm. They evolve in doing that kind of business. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it sells, it's big in Africa for that specific reason, the historical relationship that the reggae musicians have based on their experience in Jamaica is similar to what Africans experience so the music relates so easily that mm -hmm. it, you can't you pay one in feet that them them make you feel good you know mm -hmm. make you feel good so it's a weird thing it's a weird thing. quite interesting there put your liners put your liners put your liners up in the air put your liners put your liners put your liners up in the air call on child in this time call on in this time of prayer, yeah. Exabia, you're the miss again. Was done from Gutafara, representing for the ears to the ground radio station. Yeah. Blessed love, all the people say, Natasha, that they are listening till it end. Yeah, that's last year.